Getting started with Microsoft Teams, making and receiving calls. In this video, you'll learn how to make and receive calls in Microsoft Teams. It will answer the questions, how can I make calls using Teams? How does someone contact me? And how do I check my messages? To make and receive phone calls using Microsoft Teams, here's some steps to get you started. The first thing you'll want to do is come to your left navigation toolbar and click on those magic three dots. Then click on Calls. That's going to bring up your call window. First thing, find your extension. To find your extension, click on Dial a Number. When you click on Dial a Number, you'll see your number and your extension. This is mine, 72551, and anybody that wants to reach me in the district can call that number directly. So if you were to dial 72551, my computer would receive that phone call. To give it to parents and students, you'll want to give them the Volusia County School Board number. To find that number, if you go to the Volusia County Schools homepage and you click on Contact Us, that will bring the page up with the school board numbers. Now, I live in Deland, so I always give them the Deland phone number, which is 386-734-7190. Parents would call that number or any of these numbers, and they'll be prompted to put in an extension. When they're prompted for me, when they put this in 72551, it would ring my computer. To call a parent, you type in the phone number. So if I wanted to call a parent or a student, I could type in the phone number. I'm just using it like a normal phone. And I press call. Now that's going to call the person. You'll hear that ringing. And if they're calling you, you'll hear that as well. You can mute your mic or you can bring up the keyboard, but you'll just talk just as if it's a normal phone call. When you're finished, if you hover anywhere and click, this bar will come back up and you can press hang up. After you press hang up, you get a history and you can see who you've called, if it's outgoing or missed, and the date and time. So you can tell if I scroll a little bit further down on August 4th, I got a phone call at 308. If you click the three dots, you can call that person back. You can add them to your speed dial or your content or your contacts, or if you need to block the phone number, those options are there. Let me go back to speed dial. When you look at speed dial, these are people that I've added to my speed dial, people I might contact a lot. I also have my PLC that I've added, and I have other contacts that came over. If I want to contact any of these people, I just have to click on the phone icon. So if I wanted to call Jorge, I click on that phone and it will bring his computer up. To add a new speed dial, I just click add. And then I can search for the person, for the teacher here. They'll come up and I say add. I'm not going to do that now because sometimes students come up as well. And just for their privacy, I won't do that. I can also create a new group. So if I say new group, if I wanted to make a PLC, I could say third grade PLC, create. And I'm going to scroll down and here's my third grade PLC. To add members to that, I can click on the three dots, add a contact, and I'll type the name in and click add to that when the name comes up. Another feature that we have is voicemail. If you click on voicemail, if a parent or a teacher has left you a voicemail message, you'll see the number. You'll see how long it was, the date, and the time. If I click on it, I can cl uh, click play here and it'll play. If it was able to transcribe it, I can see a transcription here too. 
it sends you an email as well. So if you see in your Outlook that you've received a voicemail, you can come here and check it. If I click the three dots, I can delete it. I can call them back. I can add it to speed dollar content, uh, contacts or I can block it. Another feature that you can use is the chat feature. If I go to chat, I can create a new message here. I can type the name of the person I want to send it to. I'll send this to, I'll send it to Ms. Bosco. I can type a message here. Using you for a chat demonstration. And then I can hit send here if I want to send her a text message. I can also call her using this button. So if I press this, it will call her and I can add people. So if you wanted to have a group chat with your PLC, you could click here and add somebody to that. Let me add a third person so I can see my people in this. And now I've got my group chat going. You can also upload files to this so you can easily share files if you need to.